What's going on, hey everybody? Guys. Welcome back to East Africa with yes. Willie and Rachel. We're super excited to be sitting yes, with we you guys. Are. What are we talking about, Rach? We've been talking about identity and yes. a Christ centered identity. Yeah, and what do we mean by identity? Basically, how you view yourself, correct? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we all carry a perception of mm -hmm. ourselves, our self worth, our mm -hmm. self identity of how you see yourself. Yeah. And it's huge. Identity really goes, you have your identity, and then that ends up feeding into your self worth, mm -hmm. your self value, your yeah. self confidence. It kind of affects everything. everything. And at the heart of all people is a desire to have an identity and to feel accepted and have self-worth amen you know absolutely so I, we read uh from colossians chapter three and it says in christ it's talking about and it says for you died and now your life is yeah. hidden mm -hmm. with christ in god and this is magnificent uh let me turn over there so sorry i didn't mean to just quote it but i want to <laughs> i want to read this again it says for you died your life is hidden with christ in yeah. god it's hidden. Do you understand that it's it's, it's concealed, praise God. And a lot of people, especially in the day and age we're living in, Rachel, uh -huh. where it's a Facebook, Instagram type it's a social world, media world, social media world, and we're both on social media, Instagram, yep. Facebook. So I'm not against being on it, but I am against it. you allowing just looking at other people. So basically, we're not for being at the feeding trough where you're exactly. just taking it all in all the time. There everything. is so much oh. carnality going on in the world right now. And, and, on, and on social media, it is just in your face. Now, yeah. again, we're both on social media. We use it on Facebook, Instagram, things like that. And so... But I'm so, cautious. I'm even so careful. cautious. I am careful mm -hmm. of who I'm following mm -hmm. and what I'm looking at because you know I have a lot of awesome Christian people I follow and friends and family mm -hmm. that I get to stay connected with. But I'm careful not to follow you know too many women that are uh, even fitness or this and that that their body is in my face all the time. Yeah. Saying, you should look like this. You should look. Just careful. Yeah. yeah, I'm guarding what I'm putting in my heart because yeah. eventually if I'm not careful. Some of these little seeds can begin to grow into discontentment about myself yeah. or try to say like, oh, when I look in the mirror, I'm like, eh. you know, you start, yeah. you have to be careful. You have to guard your heart. Like we talked about in Proverbs 4. Amen. Amen. Exactly. And so like things like social media are a great out. There can oftentimes not a very good in, like you have to yeah. be very careful what you're taking in. What I'm, what I'm, the reason I'm bringing social media up is I'm just trying to show that everything mm -hmm. shapes that border we talked mm -hmm. about in proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 that we are to guard our heart with all with mm -hmm. our uh, all diligence mm -hmm. for out of it springs the issues of life or the borders of life and those borders are built upon how we see yeah. ourselves and when, when you are viewing other people all the time and then yeah. maybe putting in your heart well i wish i looked like them or i wish i talked yeah. like them or i wish that you know then basically the border yeah. you're putting around the parameters mm -hmm. of your life mm -hmm. have all to do with earthly mm -hmm. natural mm -hmm carnal things and they will absolutely keep you from moving yeah. forward listen to this this says for you die your die, you died and your life is hidden with christ in god this is huge to me because you can't see all that i am by looking at me and therefore i don't want to try to give you a perception of me that is false i don't want you to to try to impress you in my flesh because there's no way if if who I truly am is hidden with Christ in God, there is no way you can look at this natural mm -hmm. appearance mm -hmm. and know me. And therefore, I don't want to do anything in my natural appearance that keeps you from getting to know the actual me in Christ. Mm -hmm. And this is huge. Stop trying to impress people on the outside yeah. all the time. Stop worrying. And I'm not saying don't keep yourself. I'm just saying don't worry about how you look on the outside because you know paul put it this way that that although uh, our earthly uh how do you how do you put it in second corinthians chapter four let me read let me turn over there and read this He's this going is there. second corinthians chapter four uh verse seven he says but we have this treasure yeah. in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Mm -hmm. And then he talks about that, they, that he was on, uh, hard pressed on every side. Yeah. And he says, um, 
in verse 16, therefore we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day mm -hmm. by day. Mm -hmm. Paul knew that who he was, his worth, his existence was not his, his identity wasn't in who he was in the flesh. Yeah. This was his whole point about righteousness in Philippians chapter 3 when he says, I was a Hebrew of the Hebrews, a Pharisee of the Pharisees. But he says, I count all those things as dung so that I can receive the, the righteousness that is of God. And you can't look in the mirror and mm -hmm. see who you are. And some of you come from, from years of yeah. looking at other people yeah. and, and idolizing other people in their mm -hmm. flesh. And this is why I'm very careful even about the movies that I watch and mm -hmm. stuff like this because it's just guarding your heart it guarding, guarding your heart. there's your heart. so much carnality yeah. in this world and there's so much a pushing yeah. on everybody that if you're going to be worth something then you need to look a certain way dress a certain way be a certain body weight be this be that and if you're not extremely careful you can never rise up to who you are. And again, who you are is hidden. Mm -hmm. You cannot, I don't care what type of shape you get in. You can't look in the mirror and see who you are in Christ. You should be viewing this body yeah. as something of, of a vessel, right? Yeah. That is going to be better. You are going to grow older. And so you can take your youth and try to make it last forever, which won't work. Or you can sow it into the kingdom of God and start to value your life. And what I'm trying to say is that the value you place on yeah. yourself is never going to be able to look in the mirror. So stop thinking that if you could just get to a body weight or get to a yeah. to financial, wear, position, financial position or job position or education you. So, or, 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 you know, wear this type of clothes or this, yeah. then you could feel better about yeah. yourself. Really, in all reality, you should start to, to yep. build on who you are in Christ. Mm -hmm. And that should be your self-confidence yeah. and that should be your self-worth. Too many people mm -hmm. are being told they have to look a certain mm -hmm. way, dress a certain mm -hmm. way, this type. Of, and I even see it from the Christian world. Mm -hmm. I even see it on a lot of the, um, I even have friends and stuff that are so mm -hmm. into, yes. Yeah, some of the outside. Outside things. Just have to be and watchful. again, I'm not saying you can't like clothes or stuff like that. You can like fashion and stuff. I'm not saying. Obviously, we can't. like to look nice. We're not like just yeah. sitting up here in our pajamas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what for I mean? Sure. But, but you can lose yourself in that careful, so yeah. quickly if you're not careful. And again, I even see it on a lot of Christian platforms where people are. They're saying mm -hmm. Jesus and stuff, but they're presenting themselves as being so perfect, mm -hmm. so magnificent yeah. in the flesh. And that is a hindrance. Yeah. That is a hindrance to people because mm -hmm. th there's so much fakeness going on in the yeah. world that we have to see the reality of the fact that you can't look at me and see who I am. You can't look at my outward and just see who I am. Yeah. And I can't look at your outward. This is what, what Paul was talking about. He says, from now on, we regard no one after, after the, the flesh. flesh. Yeah. Because he didn't want to look at you and judge you. He didn't yeah. want you to look at him and judge him because he knew who he was had been shaped by God Almighty. He knew who he was, the borders upon his life, yep. all these things he was able to go and accomplish was happening by the power of God yes. and not because he was the wisdom that he was able to put off Present on the outside. and say like, look mm -hmm. at me. I look so amazing. Yes. Fancy. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know what you're sure. saying. Like I make a joke out of that, but it's yeah. not, it's really serious. And it's the sincerity of saying it's Jesus that I want you to see. Through Amen. Me. Amen. And I want you to experience for yourself to know that my identity is not wrapped up Amen. in all these outside things, but it's who I am in who, Christ and who you are. Praise mm -hmm. God. So I'm telling you that, that, uh, don't allow your identity to be wrapped up into who, mm -hmm. how you look, how you dress, whether you've ever viewed yourself mm -hmm. as being a pretty person or whatever, man, see who you are in Christ. Yep. That's where your value, that's where your power is going to, is going to be coming from. Mm -hmm. And you have to make a decision to, to begin to guard your heart and to put those things mm -hmm. down and to say, no, Lord, I won't sow those into my heart anymore. I'm going mm -hmm. to sow the reality of who I am in yes. Christ. Hallelujah. So good, you guys. Who you are in Christ. Amen. All right, we love you, and we're going to see you next time. Be blessed.